Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Martin Bolter and over the coming weeks and months I'm going to be putting content out there to do with AutoCAD 2020 and Inventor 2020. Welcome uh, to a another video, a new video. Um, this was posed by uh, one of the students in one of my classes um, about how do I create holes around the uh, edge of a tube. In the classroom, I couldn't actually give him the exact answer. We tried around for a couple of minutes, and then lots of I uh, had a few other questions, um, so I had to leave the student with a couple of ideas to try out. So when I got home jumped on my on Inventor and just worked through the problem, came up with the answer, uh, and actually this has given me a good opportunity to create another web series called Quick Questions. So any of the quick questions that we've got in class or added into the comments box, um, what I'll do is I'll put together a, a Quick Questions episode for that particular problem, um, and then everybody can jump in, um, see these quick questions, and it might help other uh, students within the class. So we'll jump straight into it, run through the tutorial and uh, we'll have an, an answer for the quick question. So thanks for short, thanks to Sean. Um, it was a good quick question and here's your answer. So I've made the XZ plane visible and now I'm going to offset a plane from that XZ plane. Uh, for me I'm just going to go for a height of 50mm. Uh, it can be anything you want and then once you've done that click OK and then we're going to start a new sketch on that plane. We'll slice the graphic so we can see it better and I'm going to rotate round so tops up the right way up. I'm going to project the geometry of the outside circle and now I'm going to create a vertical line running from the centre just past that projected geometry. Once you've done that finish the sketch now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a point, a work point, on the end of that line. So I'm going to zoom in, there you go, just click there, left click, and now I'm going to give it an axis. And the axis needs to run along that uh, black line that we created, just like that. Once we've done that, you can see we've got this little uh, brown arrow, that's giving us the work axis. We're now going to create a hole on that point and we're going to select the direction of that axis. We can then do various things. We can go through all, we can change to put a head on it, um, we can go to, we can, lots of the usual functions that you find with a hole. I'm just going to click OK um, and you can see the hole has now gone all the way through the tube. I'll now click a circular pattern which is similar to an array and I'm going to select the hole and you can just see there that the green rings appear. Once you've selected it, click left click and we're going to give it the rotational axis. Now the rotational axis for me is the Y axis, the vertical axis that I'm going to rotate it around. So I'll left click on the vertical axis and I'm going to uh, put nine holes. Now I'm going to get 18 holes because I've got holes both sides of the tube. So you can see that actually I've got nine running between zero and 180 degrees and then nine running the other side. Uh, once you've uh, done that, click OK and that is how you generate a series of holes around the edge of a tube. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more content to do with AutoCAD 2020 and Inventor 2020. If you've liked what you've uh, watched and it's worked for you, hit that like button and also add any comments for any future uh, content you want to see and I'll uh, try and put something together for you. Thank you very much for watching.